friends, I am back with a quick upgrade to my 3D model to silhouette project. So let's get cracking. So real quickly, let me show you what we got. The user wanted this to be super flat. None of these details added here. Let me show you the technique I would use so that the edge was completely straight. First, I do want to remind you, if you haven't seen the entire project, there will be a link up here so you can get to that. Right now, I'm going to back up to my main directory and I'm going to make a copy of the original project. I don't want to wreck what I did there, so by making a copy, this won't mess it up. So right now we are waiting for these to regroup. Remember that was the trick, was to take three slices of this and then turn it into one slice. I am going to ungroup that all now and ungroup it again. So now I've got the three pieces. I'm gonna bring these out so that you can see them in separate parts. And then this was a piece that we chose to chop off later. So right now I'm going to ungroup this and then I'm going to take this gap where it used to be an entire millimeter. I'm going to make it a tenth of a millimeter. So now I can click on the hole and I can double click it. And notice now I'm editing those holes. If I do shift click, that's 10 times 0.1. So there is connected. Now I simply need to move one click to the right so that I've got my gap of 0.1 millimeters. When I click out here, it makes it permanent. Now I can look at that tiny sliver, pick the exact spot that I think is going to be thick enough to cut where I want. I think that's going to be pretty good for the back, and I think it's going to work for the front. So now I can select them again and do Control G to group. So it's the exact same trick, it's just the sliver is a lot thinner, and also you can see I got a real good version of those legs. They are one complete path. So now we're going to do the same steps, ungroup, double click, shift click to connect it, one click to the right to give us a one tenth of a millimeter gap. I can't even see the gap, so I'm going to double click and I'm going to click one more time just to make sure that I've got that gap there. And then we want to pick where we want to cut them. So you can see that's going to cut right through his head. I'm going to just click on this and move a couple clicks over so I think it's centered. I think I like those, so now I'm going to select that and do Control G. Once again, you may have to wait a moment for that to happen. Now we can click on this one and we can ungroup. Once again, double click the holes, click the piece we want to move, shift nudge, and then do one click back. And I can see that that gap is good right there, so now I can click and make it permanent. And then I've got to pick the spot on the leg where I want to cut. I'm going to move it over right there. And with it in the center, I'm going to select them and do Control G. Finally, we can grab all three pieces, do L for a line, put them to the middle. All right, so you'll note that we lost this leg back here. I'm going to simply ungroup it all. Let's click on that leg. And I'm just going to double click and edit. And if we look, if I'd have looked at it from the rear, I would have seen that I was missing that leg. So now I'm just going to move it to the right. That looks a lot better. How much of the front leg does it have though? It does not have the front leg. So what we've just learned, I'm gonna click and keep the back leg, is we need to do this one twice. So I'm going to do Control D, move that extra one out here. And since the back leg is great on that one, we're gonna double click and nudge this so that the front leg is good on this one. All right, so now that we've got all our pieces, Select them all, L for a line, and let's center them, and let's do Control G to group. Now I'll just show you real quick. This is okay, but it's not perfect. As you can see, there are still bumps. We're going to solve that with one more final trick and a second program. I'm going to simply rotate this 90 degrees. Notice if we stay inside, it's real easy to snap. Then I'm going to do D to drop. And then I'm going to push it halfway through this big work plane. And the reason we do this is because now if I choose export as an SVG for laser cutting, after a moment, it'll let me save the 2D SVG file. When I hit save, I can now turn around and import that exact same file. 
and I only want the art, and the measurements will be fine. And friends, there it is. You will notice there are a couple pieces back here. Check it out. They are the toes of the other horse. If I had raised this up so that it was not touching, that would have worked fine. Of course, we could cut those off by grouping holes. I've got another tool that makes this even cooler, though, so let me show you what I've got. We are going to touch it up with Inkscape. Inkscape is totally free. If you've never seen it before, let me show you. Once it launches, you can simply hit open and then find the file that we're playing with. Of course, mine was in my downloads folder. There is the copy of the horse. And you'll notice that right now you can't see anything. Well, check this out. If you do control A, there's something there. It's just hidden and you need to switch to fill and stroke. You can find it under the object menu. And then you want to switch to stroke paint and we want to set it to black. I'm going to move it all the way to the left. And then we also want to do stroke style. And currently it was at 0 0.04 millimeters. I'm going to make it 0 0.2 millimeters and press enter. And all of a sudden, there is your horse. Now also, I've got that silly artifact up here. So I'm going to go to what's called the node menu. I'm going to grab all those and I'm going to hit delete. Looks like there's one up here too. So once again, I'm dragging a big box and I'm hitting delete. Now you'll also notice there are a ton of nodes on this path. It is a good idea to grab all those nodes and choose path and choose simplify. Notice it reduces it to a lot less shapes. You can also zoom in and you could adjust something too. If you wanted that tail to have a little different height or you wanted any other spot to be different, this is where you could grab the nodes and stretch and twist or simply grab a single piece of a node to make it look the exact way that you wanted. Lots of room for you to have fun and make it look just like you want. Right now I'm doing control zoom so we can zoom out. When you are completely happy, like I do see another piece here I want to get rid of, I'm going to do control zoom to zoom in on this. This piece does not help me at all. So I'm just going to click on it and do delete and delete. And then that is finally how I want it. Once again, control zoom so we can zoom out and it's time to export. I'm going to click file and choose export. I'm going to put it in my downloads folder, but I want to save it as a plain SVG. And of course, I'm going to call this horse two and choose export. Now we can finally return to Tinkercad, choose import, choose that file. Here is horse two. And this time when we bring it in, once again, it's the art. I'm going to keep the sizes. And when I hit import, we have finally got the smooth silhouette that we were hunting for. I'm going to quickly rotate it. This time I'm going to use shift rotate. So notice it goes 45 degrees at a time. And if I hit D to drop, bingo, we're good to go. Once again, shift rotate, D to drop. And there you have it, friends. A epic silhouette that started with a horse. Friends, I hope you enjoyed all the skills we learned with Tinkercad, Mesh Mixer, and today, Inkscape. Of course, have a glorious day and keep tinkering. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. Of course, I've got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad with all sorts of amazing categories. Below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you scroll down a little farther, you will find my course, Tinkercad in 20 Days. It is fully explained in this video. Of course, I do want to highlight the coupon code 25HLTinkerCAD as it'll get you 25% off any of the awesome courses at cadclass.org. Of course, you can get there by simply clicking this link. Friends, just a quick reminder about the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. You can also use the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad.
finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.